What is up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this 100% free Instagram section you can get with the help of our app. The app we are offering is also completely free, it's a non-subscription app and I will show you how you can get the section and also customize it to your likings. Right, let's get right into it. The first thing I did for it was head it on over to the Shopify app store where I got the Section Store app. This is the one I'm opening up right here. Like I said already, it's a non-subscription app, it's completely free and it does come with over 200 fully customizable components. Some of them do come with a little charge, but the one we will be having a look today is, like I said already, completely free. It's the Insta feed free. Just gonna click on that. You'll be able to get the section by clicking on a button right here. I already own it, but yeah. After successfully getting the sectioner, there's one last thing you have to do before you can actually use it, and that is to install the section to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Live theme, and then open up your theme editor with the one you just selected right here. I've also done so myself, so I'm just gonna click on here, Dawn Live, that is the one we need, and then we will focus on rebuilding that sectioner. And I'll also show you how you can customize it it's done in a few really easy steps and I'm sure you're gonna get something really nice out of it because it's a good section in my opinion and yeah let's get into it insta feed free that is the one we will have a look so it's the one you saw in the beginning I'm just going to show you how you could add that section completely from scratch so you just type in insta feed free maybe without the free sorry for that yeah that is the one it does come with a really good looking default version already, but we will be focusing on that one I already built right here. So I'll show you how I customized, what I customized on that. All right, here we have the one you saw in the beginning of the video. And now I'm gonna click on one of the blocks so I can show you how I did what I did with it. So if you click on it, you can change the town right here. So in my case, it would be that. So Germany Munich. And we can also change the picture right here. We could either select a free picture or select one from our library. I'm just going to change it to a different one. So I'm going to pick this one. And also you can decide the time and date when the picture was posted. So let's say it was posted a little bit earlier, maybe on the 19th of December. And then you can directly link the Instagram to that certain picture right here. And I'm just going to do it with a page right now. So you see that the link is actually working. And I'm going to head back now. And the same applies to all the other ones as well. And now I want to show you how you can customize the whole thing by clicking on Insta Feed Free itself. Follow us on Instagram. You could change the handle as well. And you could put a link on the handle. So if people click on that, they would get directed to Instagram directly. And there we could select that it's getting opened in a different tab as well. So yeah, that is something nice, I think. Here we can change all the headers, size it, where the whole thing is going to be aligned. Let's put it on the left. Of course, it's fully responsible as well. So as you can see right here, it does come with this really nice arrows, which will be customizable as well. You can change the gap between the blocks and a lot of other things as well. I'm just going to go over this a bit more quickly. And yeah, last thing I want to show you is that you can hide stuff as well. You want to show it on the desktop or not, for example, these arrows right here. So if we save it up again, you can see that. So if we would add more pictures, it would act as a slideshow. So I just wanna do that with one real quick. So we're gonna add another one, chuck another picture in here. Let's do that one, that is a lovely picture. Save it up and here this arrow is getting displayed already. That is the one I spoke about. Now it acts as a slideshow. And the last thing you could do to the whole thing is of course, change all the colors of the things right here. So if I would want the title of the card to be in a different color, I can easily change that as well. So let me have a look real quick. So here we have the author color, the one right here, and that is something we could change. So let's save it all up, have a look at it in the final version after changing the heart do something red. Yeah, I do like this look. So the picture got liked already in that case. 
let's save up the demo store we used in the beginning of the video already. And here you can see all the changes we've done to the whole thing already. And yeah, that means the whole thing was successfully done. Let's see if the link is working as well. It does. And that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.